what pleased you most about your team's performance tonight? Yeah, the professionalism, you know, uh, interesting day to day and uh, a back to back, like you said, and, and uh, the fifth and seven nights. So, you know, they came out and uh, were, were professional, uh, did a great job defensively, moved the ball offensively, made simple plays, didn't turn it over, you know, battle on the boards. So, you know, overall, really proud of the way they played under uh, what was it? It was a long week. How did you feel about Kevin, uh, his first game uh, playing on the second half of back-to-back? He looked look good to me. Uh, you know, he, <laughs> he, uh, he got to his spots and continues to find his rhythm. Uh, you know, he, he made plays for his teammates again. And, uh, you know, I, I, like I said before the season, I, you know, I think it's 15 to 20 games minimum for him to start to even consider where am I. So uh, he looks great and he's going to continue to feel more and more comfortable. Greg Logan with Newsday. Uh, Steve, last night, uh, Kevin talked about the uh, professionalism of uh, Bruce Brown. Uh, What kind of role do you see him growing into uh, with this team, even if it's off the bench? Yeah, I mean, he's he he plays extremely hard, um, prides himself on his defense. Uh, offensively, you know, he plays within himself. I mean, he, I've been really impressed with his finishing and his, his floaters and, uh, you know, making the defense pay for his cutting. And, and, you know, I think when you when you have a guy like that who can guard multiple positions, he, he plays hard, he, he knows the game plan, and he also knows where he shouldn't put himself offensively. You know, that's really valuable. So it's great to have him for, you know, his energy, toughness, defense. And tonight, obviously, we and, and, and not just tonight, he's been rebounding the ball and, regard tonight he was exceptional um 14 rebounds so really proud of the way he's 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 chipped away and uh super valuable to us tonight malika andrews with espn steve i'm I'm wondering what you saw that you can take to the film room from the end of the game there where you just you have this sizable lead and then maybe the the lack of the art of holding the ball lets them get back in the game and kevin ends up back out on the court Sure. You know, I mean, it's it's tricky. You know, when you make wholesale changes like that uh, to a group that has no rhythm, um, you know, you have another, the other team has nothing to lose. So you can kind of see it coming in a way, but you want to give them that opportunity to learn and grow. So there's some things we can teach and clean up, uh, but it's also just good for them to feel that, feel that tension when you're trying to hold on to a lead. Um, so I, I thought it was valuable for the, for them to feel that and, and uh, learn from it. Alex Schiffer with The Athletic. Hey Steve, I saw Audrey come over to your pregame and, and give you the little hug. Is it a similar moment coaching against your godson as it is someone like Lloyd or is it a different different sentiment with a college buddy and your godson? It's similar and different, you know, obviously uh, it's, you know, with Lloyd, I, I mean, I root for him all the time and, and we go back so long and he means a lot.
And the Nets acquiring James Harden. Hey, everybody, Ryan Rucco with you at Barclays Center. Richard Jefferson from his home in Los Angeles. You know, Richard, we talked a lot about the trade in the pregame for sure. And then it came game time. Well, how are the Nets going to staff this game with so many players unavailable? And also, how are they going to handle the emotion of the day? Plus, being on the second half of a back-to-back. Plus, Kevin Durant for the first time playing in the second half of a back-to-back. Well, they handled all that just fine. They look good starters and bench, and we're able to really control the night against the Knicks. Yeah, they look good. Uh, obviously, Kevin Durant, you know, there wasn't, it didn't look like much of a fatigue. You know, I, I'm curious to see what he feels like, how his body feels over the next couple of days as you start to recover. Uh, but their bench was so key. When you look at TLC, uh, you, you look at Chioza and, and the way he was distributed.